Hello and this is the fourth part of my flash RPG system and today I'm going to do the second part of my inventory system. Showed you in the third part that we're doing a simple inventory system, really really simple where the block just moves to one of the slots. But now we're going to make it so you can use the block and um, if it's in slot 1 and slot 1's full it'll go to slot 2. So First, we'll start with making some new variables. So, we'll start with new variable item slot one full. Um, bowl var item. Oh, sorry. Um, Vault item slot one for boolean um equal false so it's not full and the same with item slot two item slot two right so now um if we we'll pick it up so if I'll just go root dot mc dot here test this if um, item slot one equals false, then we'll pick it. Plus, right, if it equals false, then we'll pick it up. This should work same way. Yeah, right. So that's that for now. Right. And now we'll um, do if it doesn't equal false if item slot one troll doesn't equal false. I think it's like that. That's how you do the statements. Um, Then it gets put in item slot two, so underscore dot item 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 slot one item slot two equal equal HP portion. So I think that's done. Item pickup control V Unload this. Copy this out. Put it in here. There, like that. Stop action here. Stop action here. Stop. Oops. And now I have to go into the first frame, do some changes in our item pickup function. So if item slot one, so V. Item um, slot two, and this, did we call it IS two? I believe we did. Um, yes, we did. Right now, it should. Oops, no, it shouldn't. Um, should work. Let's see this. Um, should work. If we duplicate this, duplicate. Oops, um, duplicate this. Goes in there. Oh no, it goes in both of them. We'll have to do patch that. So if item slot one full equal equal false then do this, but the if item slot two not one equal false equal true true. Um, still does it um, true and and item slot two full equal equals false then do this um, I think this should work I'm not sure um, no it doesn't 
don't know why it's not working. Don't do something wrong here. I think I know. Um, item slot two equal. Yeah, right. So if and I'm doesn't even pick it up now. <laughs> hmm. Right, I'm just going to come back to that. I'm just going to revisit my project, my first, my um, other project, and see what's wrong. Uh, all right, sorry about that, but I'm back and I got it working. I had to rewrite most of the item script, but in the end, um, it was just I had to take the instance so name away from my item. Then I just duplicated, and it's working fine now. You can pick up items and they go in different slots. You pick up. Doesn't matter which one you pick first. They both go in different slots. So I'll show you the script I done here, and that's all I think. That's all I basically changed. Just this. I rewrote this, and um, after all, it was the instance name. So. Yeah, right. Now we're gonna do on using items. So what you wanna do first is you wanna click this um you think and you wanna go on let's say release if uh can't be bothered to write it so I'm just gonna copy and paste it um if items slot one full equal equal true um let's go root use item yeah right that's for that one do for this one too same slot um slot two we could full use item. Right now let's make the use item fun function. First we're gonna make a var named health a variable that's gonna be player's health equal hundred max health two In equal hundred and fifty right um we'll make a new function function um use item just wanna put right if um item slot one item slot one equals equals HP I'll just copy this actually same with this oh sorry um, same with this equals H H HP portion health plus equals 10 health plus equals 10 right um, and item full Slot twelve a equals false. So it's not full anymore. Same with this one. It won't be full anymore. Underscore root dot. Underscore root dot. And the string 
item slot to You can put anything here what I'm about to do now. Um down eight nothing. Just to stop it thinking that HP portion is still in the inventory slot. We've changed the string to nothing. Same with this one. Now it should move uh won't it won't work but it should. Um but um I think oh yes, it works but we need to make this go to it go out of inventory. Control V Control Control V Control V One One Should work now when we pick up something. No, it doesn't work. I'll just make it health thing so we know our health so know if it's working health no um, no it's not working um like normal um let's figure this out use item so we've got the function colon use item dot one equal No, if item slot one equal equal HP portion, health plus equal ten. ten dot. Let's go root dot. Let's go root dot. Or just go root dot. Or just go root dot. Let's go root. This is good for debugging. Uh, but still no trace health. Hmm. So it's not even going into the function. So maybe it's just maybe it's Aim slot one copy make some dynamic text um for debugging purposes. Don't control V control V. Yeah, it's coming up as HP portion. So it should work, but it's not working. Um uh, why is it not working? Item slot equal false. Um, just going to see what I've done wrong because I'm not going at all good today. I'm terrible. This is my original project. Um, use item. Ignore this bit. We'll come to that later. Um, yeah, that looks quite sim similar. Similar. Um, on release. Oh, I think I know why. Why is it not working? There we go. It's working. Simple things like that can annoy you quite a lot. Um, yeah. So that's how to make a very simple um, two-part Flash ES2 inventory system. I'm going to put the file for download. It's only about a quarter of the way done, this RPG, but I'll put it for download for now anyway. In then I'll, once we get to a key point again, I'll put it for download. Still a bit buggy, the inventory system, but um, I'll sort that out in the next tutorial. Bye.